What's up, awesome YouTubers? Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys, and I'm in a new background. I actually changed my movie uh, shelving and I put it in my movie room. So this is going to be the background from now on. I love it. I love the movies behind me. I think it looks awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy the background. And I know it's been a long time, or it's been a while since my last video. The last video I did was an unboxing about either almost a month or it's been a month since I've done that video and I do apologize for that and like I mentioned in that video um, just life is busy for me right now school work um, the gym I've been working out a lot more so I'm focusing more on that I'm still buying movies but not as much as I used to uh, I did get a lot of great horror movie release titles which I'll show in a part two update uh, a lot of great things some Scream Factory releases that I want to talk about and show you guys in a separate video and in this video I will be talking about the non-horror related Blu-rays that I picked up within the last uh, month or two so it's been a while since I've shown you guys what I've picked up and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be leaving something out so I uh, apologize for that but there's some great titles here that I want to talk about most of them I have seen uh, one or two that I haven't seen uh, but I'm planning to watch them soon and something that I picked up today that I'm excited to watch along with this Captain America t-shirt. So that's coming out next month and I'm gonna go see that and uh, X-Men Apocalypse and I did see Batman vs Superman and I really haven't talked about it on my channel uh, but I absolutely loved it. I know this movie got a lot of negative reviews from critics and fans seem to be mixed on it. Um, they either love it or hate it, but I love the movie. I've seen it twice in theaters, and I bought the soundtrack to it. Um, just love the movie. I don't think it's as bad as people made it out to be, especially when critics, you know, kind of gave their thoughts on that movie. It's not as bad. Um, but yeah, so I saw that, and I'm looking forward to Captain America and X-Men. Um, but before I get into my movie pickups that I'm going to show you guys, some of the ones I've picked up, I just want to tell you guys what's going to be going on with my videos from now on and my channel. Um, first of all, with the channel, um, I kind of gave it a lot of thought and I knew I said I was going to end my channel in 2018. Um, I decided to kind of just wipe that away because I love YouTube and I love watching videos and even though I don't comment all the time, I do watch a lot of your guys' videos. Um, YouTube's a part of my life and it's something I've done for almost 10 years and I'm just really happy with it and it's hard to believe it's almost been 10 years since I posted my first video in 2008 but you know I just I love YouTube and I love this movie community so for me it's really hard to say you know I'm gonna end my channel so that's not gonna happen but what's gonna happen with my future videos from now on is they're not going to be scheduled every week because that became something that was really hard for me to do where I post a video every week and I had to try to figure out what day to post it, what day to make a video. It was really tough for me because, you know, my work schedule, you know, I, I do work a lot and I do go to school. I'm taking a couple months off this, this quarter though and I'll be going back in the summer. But I've been working a lot and, like I said, going to school and uh, focusing on other things. So you, YouTube videos won't be posted every week but I will be still posting videos when I can and when I have the time and it won't be you know a month before you see another video from me. I'm actually gonna try to post a video if not every week every two weeks or something like that. Um, it just it's something that I can't do every week, can't post every week because I do have a busy schedule. Um, but I want to still make videos. I love making videos. I love talking movies with you guys, showing you guys movies that I picked up, giving you thoughts on movies that I've seen in theaters. Um, like I said, YouTube is a part of my life and I love it and I'm blessed to be a part of an amazing community that we have here on YouTube because it's really hard to find people in my area that love movies just like I do. You know, I have my best friends who live in Louisville, Brian and Doug, and some other good friends that love movies and we talk about movies. But where I live personally, um, it's really hard to find people who, you know, have that passion for movies that I do. So for me, 
YouTube is a lot of fun and I absolutely love it. And like I said, even if I don't comment on all your videos, I do watch them and I have a lot of fun with them. So, um, but I hope you guys enjoy my future videos to come. Um, just know that I'm not going to be leaving YouTube. Uh, scratch that off and more videos will come. It just probably won't be every week. Um, but I am going to start posting more frequently. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and future videos to come. I know I repeat myself and I'm sorry. But uh, let's get started with my movie pickups. And I, these are probably not all the movies I've picked up within the last two months. It's been a while since I've shown you guys movies that I've picked up. But stay tuned either Friday or next week where I'll show you all my horror related titles because I have picked up a lot of great horror movies, especially from Scream Factory and Arrow, that I want to talk about, but I'm going to do that in a separate video, kind of make that one special. So I hope you guys enjoyed these pickups that I've gotten. Let me know if you've seen them and give me your thoughts. Like I said, there's probably two of them in here I haven't seen, um, but I want to share and talk with you about them. So uh, let's get started with the first one. And I picked this up actually from work for $4.99 on Blu-ray. And I was really excited because I saw this movie when it uh, probably two months after it came out on Blu-ray, and it's been a year since it's been released, so it's been quite a while since this Blu-ray's come out. But I got it about a month, month and a half ago, and it is the movie Fury. And like I said, I've seen this movie, and I really enjoy it. I think the first, last 20 minutes are probably my favorite thing about the movie, where they're in the tank and they have those final moments. Uh, for some reason, when I watched it the first time, I loved those moments. But overall, I really enjoyed this movie. And I also picked this movie up because the director who is directing this is also directing Suicide Squad, which is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Cannot wait for August to get here to see that. But I wanted to get Fury and add it to my collection because I did really enjoy it. And I'm not a big war movie fan. You know, there's only a rare few titles um, that I really enjoy surrounding war. You know, this one I really enjoy. I love Lone Survivor. Um, there's some other titles out there that I like uh, dealing with the war. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed Fury. And if you haven't seen it yet, definitely go check it out. I got it for a really good price, so I couldn't beat that. So picked up Fury. A really good movie. Uh, the next one I got was one that I got uh, about a week after it came out on Blu-ray. Uh, and that is Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. You know, I'm a fan of this series. This is actually, you know, um, up there in my opinion with the Harry Potter movies because those movies I love and I love the Hunger Games series. Um, the first film is pretty good. It's my actually my least favorite of the series. I actually think the movies are better after the first film. And when I first saw the first movie, it had been, you know, right when it came out on DVD. And I wasn't too crazy about it. I didn't really get the hype of the movie. And I rewatched it on Blu ray when uh, Catching Fire came out, and I really liked it. But I love Catching Fire. Uh, I really enjoyed Mocking Jay Part 1. I know a lot of people didn't like it just because there wasn't a lot of action, but I really enjoyed it. And I loved uh, Mocking Jay Part 2. It's my second favorite in the series after Catching Fire. Um, and like I said, I'm a big fan of this movie series. I've never read the books. Um, you know, I read books every so often, but I'm not a big book reader. Um, but I might read these books someday, so. But the movies themselves, I'm a big fan of the series. And when these come out on DVD or Blu-ray, I have to pick them up just because I want to see them right when they come out. I don't see these movies in theaters. I rarely go to the movies unless it's something I really want to see. And even though I love this series, I would not rush out to see them in theaters. So, but uh, Mockingjay Part 2, I definitely had to pick that one up. Uh, the next one I got from work, it was $9.99, and it was a really good deal. And I really wasn't expecting too much from this. Um, I thought, man, this could be a cute movie. Um, and that's kind of what I was expecting going into it. But I wound up loving it, and I love our two leads. I think they're both great one's a great actor and one's a great actress and you know I wound up loving this movie and that is The Intern so I like I said picked this up for a really good price for $9.99 uh, came with the slipcover and I just absolutely love 
this movie. This is one of those movies where I can keep in my collection knowing that I'm going to watch it again. Um, and I love, love this movie. So, had to pick that one up. It's a feel-good movie, you know? It has a really good story to it. Um, in my opinion, a great cast and just a really big surprise for me. So, I expected a cute movie. I expected to like it. Did I expect to love it? No, because the trailers, you know, weren't really, you know, um, kind of wowing trailers. They didn't really wow me. But I always wanted to see the movie ever since it came out in theaters, ever since I saw the trailers. And I'm happy I checked it out because I absolutely loved The Intern. So, pick that one up. Uh, the next one I got when it came out, um, and I got this probably a week after it came out, but uh, it is The Danish Girl. I saw this movie in theaters, and I absolutely loved it, and re-watching it on Blu-ray, I even love it a little bit more. Um, just a fantastic story, very emotional, uh, but I love our two leads, Eddie and Alicia. Both gave fantastic performances. Everybody really gave great performances overall, but these two definitely shined in the movie. And I absolutely love this. This is one where I can sit down and watch it again and love it every time. And, you know, it is very emotional. It's a sad story. But it is one, like I said, that I just I love. And it's one that I can definitely see myself watching more and more. So I had to pick this one up. I had a really good experience seeing, seeing it in theaters and re-watching it again on Blu-ray when it came out. So... This is definitely one that I wanted to pick up on Blu-ray. So, The Danish Girl. Uh, the next one is a Pixar movie, and it's one that I consider to be underrated uh, next to, you know, A Bug's Life and some other ones, um, Ratatouille, and that is The Good Dinosaur. You know, this came out last November, and it just kind of, you know, disappeared. And what I mean, what I mean by that is, you know, critics, you know, gave it mixed reviews, I don't think it was the big blockbuster that they were wanting. Um, and so it's an underrated movie, but I love this film. I think it's just really enjoyable, great story, um, and just a lot of fun. And I love Pixar. You know, there's only been a rare few movies that I'm not too crazy about when it comes to Pixar. But for most part, I love the movies that they release. And The Good Dinosaur is one of their better ones that I've seen in quite a while. So. I had to pick up The Good Dinosaur. It was a must for me. You know, I like this better than Inside Out, and that one gets a little bit more buzz. And I really think that this one wasn't as big of a success because it came out the same year as Inside Out, and people were still talking about Inside Out. And I feel like if they were to release this movie um, either this year, which Finding Dory is coming out, um, or at a good time where, you know, people weren't still talking about the last Pixar movie, that it might have been a bigger success than it was. But I picked this up when it came out. I love the movie. I'm glad to own it in my collection. The Good Dinosaur. Uh, the next one I got, I've not seen this movie yet, but my buddy Pat, um, hi Pat, how you doing bud, uh, picked this up for me on Blu-ray Steelbook, and um, he got it at HMV, I believe in Canada. And uh, I know Best Buy got this, but I'm pretty sure it kind of just, you know, sold out right away. And so we did a trade and he picked this up for me. And it's the Hateful Eight Steelbook. So I love that design. I love it better than the actual Blu-ray artwork, which is that artwork right there. This isn't too bad, but I love this design. I love the simple white and the red and the black lettering. Um, and I haven't seen the Hateful Eight, ha Hateful Eight yet. I know this movie's again, I've heard a lot of people say they love it, and then there's a rare few that like the movie, but they don't love the film. Um, but I'm going to watch this tonight and check it out, and hopefully I do love it, because I'm a big Quentin Tarantino fan. You know, when Inglorious Bastards came out, you know, I saw it when it first came out on DVD, and I liked it, but re-watching it again years and years on Blu-ray, I loved it. I think that is just an awesome film. And I love Django Unchained. I think that is a great movie, too. And it took me quite a while to watch that because I wasn't sure if I was going to be interested in the story. But I had to pick up The Hateful Eight, or I was glad that Pat picked this up for me. So thank you so much for that, Pat. 
And I'm going to go through these pretty quick before my camera dies, guys. Um, picked up Star Wars. Fantastic film. Everybody's talked about it. Loved it. And the last one I picked up was The Revenant. And I have not seen it yet. I just got this today. Awesome edition, though. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look forward to another DVD Blu-ray update to come where I show you my horror movies. And I will talk to you guys later. So as always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. And with a positive, out with the negative, And go eat some Skittles. Alright guys, bye.